The book I'd like to talk today, today about is called The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz. Uh, the book starts off, um, it's a historical fiction book, and it starts off on the f a farm where the young character is living. Her name is Joan. Um, her mom has basically been worked to death on the farm. Her mother is no longer living, and her dad and her brothers kind of create Joan into this workhorse. So she is pulled from school. She doesn't do anything other than work on the for farm doing chores and is basically unappreciated by her brothers and her dad. And what happens is she realized that her mom has put aside money for her to kind of escape this life. And she runs away to uh, a big city. I believe it's Philadelphia or Baltimore. And as she arrives the first night in the city, she's kind of um, confronted with the, the enormity of what she's done. And she um, breaks down on this park bench and this young man kind of feels sorry for her and brings her home much like you would find a stray puppy and you bring them home. And it turns out that this family um, happens to need a hired girl to help with uh, chores. Their one maid is getting elderly and she can't um, do anything uh, physical really anymore. And so Joan changes her name. Um, she starts to live with this family on a trial basis. Um, but ends up being there a little bit longer. She realizes that she, um, they are Jewish and having grown up on a farm, she's never really experienced a, a Jewish family before. Um, she's very deeply Catholic and um, so there's kind of this uh, separation between what she believes and what they believe. So it's a coming of age story um, about a young girl um, and de definitely under learning to understand what it is that she believes in and to have compassion for other people's beliefs as well. And it's called The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz.